Marina Del Rey. We got an FS uh, charter today. Good bunch of dudes, some good fishermen. Um, beautiful weather so far. We got Captain Ziggy here running the boat. He's a great captain. Um, he's gonna tell us tell us what the game plan is today, and wherever he takes us, we're gonna go catch some fish. Hey guys, so my name is Ziggy once again. We're headed out here on the Tortuga at Marina Del Rey. We're gonna head up west here towards Malibu. Just a little bit deeper, so we get some red snappers. Red snappers, groupers, and whatever else wants to eat our hooks. Probably start off on day with that, and then try the shallower water. We do have a, a little bit of live squid, so see if we can catch a bass or two. Maybe get lucky with a sea bass or a halibut. So we'll try that. And hopefully everything works out. Yes. Oh! Okay, everybody, let's get rigged up. One of our RX6 graphite intro rods. This is the M rated 20 to 40. Uh, struck the jig down there. So this rod's uh, intro rod, great for uh, calico bass and stuff like that. But it's long enough and with enough backbone uh, to get a jig down to these uh, rockfish too. It's a lot of fun on the on the lighter gear. Uh, really neat bend on this rod. A lot of backbone, and yet it's got a little bit of forgiveness on there. This rod pairs up really well with a 300 size, a 400 size reel, or even these, oh, nice uh, red. or even these little. Uh, FS out here on the Tortuga, beautiful afternoon, calm waters, fishing some rockfish in Santa Monica Bay right now, got a bunch of the fellas out here, uh, right now me personally, I'm soaking a macro down there, trying to get me one of those big leagues, fishing my FSC 900L, favorite go-to stick, rated 15 to 30, very nice action on it, loads up beautifully, plus it has the backbone, once that fish gets on there, really get into it so hopefully uh the next time you see me on this video i have a nice lean to show for you that fast baby yeah. Perfect uh, rod for this situation. It's rated really 2050 composite, so it's just nice and easy. Yeah, they committed on them yet? Something that we're working on for next year. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. It's an overall thin diameter composite rod, very light. Uh, Feels really, really good. Really nice. Feel everything. Feel all the bites. When you set the hook, you really feel the fish really good. Comes in lightweight. Really nice. Has that forgiving tip and yet a lot of backbone on the back side there with the RX-6 graphite. Uh, big difference when you floating on a fish, especially if you're working for halibut stuff like that that you're you want that light tip on that rod to be able to load that fish on you don't want that fish to know until you get to the backbone of the rod That's, this is a perfect caliber rod well that also landed a 35 pound uh, yellowtail catalina uh, and it held yeah. up really well Good afternoon, everyone. Marks with Fishing Syndicate. Uh, we just got through fishing for our rockfish. Now we're gonna go inside, try to catch a bass. Uh, my setup here is gonna be the 800M uh, graphite rod by Fishing Syndicate. Uh, this rod's pretty nice. It's really, really light, but it has a lot of backbone. Uh, perfect for what the application we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be leadhead and squid fishing in the heavy structure. We wanna have a heavy leadhead anywhere from an ounce and a half to two ounces of weight. The ideal with this kind of fishing is once you pin the squid on, you want to make a little lob out and drag that lead head, you know, right where the rock is. So most people, when you feel the rock, you don't want to be there because you get hung up. And on this case, you want to stay there. When you get that good bite from that bass and that rock, you got to rip them out. That's what this rod is here for. It's paired with the uh, Lexa 300 right here, just so I can get that high speed, just to get those bass out of there. I'm fishing. Uh, 40 pound test. This rod is rated 20 to 40 pound test. Uh, you want to use heavy lines so that way you don't get broke off on the structure when you get that bite. So this rod here is just perfect. It's, it's going to load up on me really nice. It's going to have just enough backbone to where I can rip that fish right out of the structure as well as I have the sensitivity with the tip where I can feel every little bite when I'm down there. So we're going to go inside and see what happens. When you're pinning on squid, a lot of people hook them one time like this or just some weird way like that. If you get bit, it's going to get ripped off right away. So you want to use a nice good hook, hook them right at the end of the tail. You get as many threads on there as you can. One, two, three, four. If you can get five, those are five. That way, if you get bit, it doesn't get ripped off. Slow calico on the lead head and squid. I'm going to let this one go. C900 baby, 900L, rated 1530. That full graphite at the bottom. Nice calico. Oh, nice calico. Yeah, it looks short. Ow! Yeah. Ah, that's bass, baby. Nice bass on the lead head squid. Yeah. All right, guys, barred sand bass. Uh, barred just sand bass. Pretty much our bread and butter here in Southern California. We love to catch these. Uh, it has to be a minimum of 14 inches to keep. You're allowed five per person per day. Uh, with this one here, it's a good, nice one. Taco sauce right there. 